The Gooderham Building in Toronto is located at the intersection of Church Street, Wellington Street East, and Front Street East. The design of the building is Romanesque and has Gothic architecture. The Romanesque cornice and frieze detailing are above the fourth floor windows. Above the cornice is a steep slope roof. On the roofline, there are eight peak gable windows divided equally between the north and south facades of the building. On the east side, the apex of the triangular shape is rounded with a copper cone on top. The bright red colors from the bricks contrast well with the green color from the roof, making it eye-catching in its environment. The west facade of the building has a mural painted on it. It creates the illusion that there are windows on the west facade. This can engage an occupant's experience of the external space. The fire escape on the north and south facades serve in a positive manner towards occupant well-being as it brings a safety factor. The use of having them on either side is quite convenient in case of an emergency to occur inside the building. The building's main entrance is on the north side. The building is continuously being restored of the features as it appeared in its time period and also upgrading the plumbing, mechanical, electrical and other code work to make properties functional for the well-being of the users. In the context that it's in, the building is presented to capture its own attention of uniqueness of serving as an office building with a backdrop of skyscrapers from behind. The Flatiron Building in New York is one of the city's most dramatic-looking buildings, attracting artists and photographers in the experience of the external space. The building has limestone at the bottom and transitions to a glazed terracotta, a ceramic masonry building material used as a decorative skin. Besides being visually appealing in its surroundings, there are issues with the geography of the site. Having the building being placed between Broadway and 5th Avenue and the open space in Madison Square and the park in front, the wind currents around the building can bring safety concerns towards the people around the exterior of the building. Another issue arises with the windows of the 20th floor being at different levels from the rest, as the bottom ledge of each window is at chest height of an average adult. The design negatively affects occupant well-being as they are awkwardly positioned from the rest.